Okay, this week we're going to be doing more work with if-then statements, or in the case of this program, if-else statements. If something, then do it, or else do this. And this one's called tracking and tracing. So let's let's begin. Now, the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to get something called a quiz. It's not really a quiz. What it really is is a tutorial for you to learn something. And I really suggest you take the time to quiz yourself on this, and it will teach you what you need to know to make things a lot easier. Okay, so as it goes through, it's going to say, you know, this is what uh, the robot can do. This is what it can see. Uh, is there a beacon to the left? Well, no, and so forth. And then it's going to give you these scenarios here. So, for example, uh, if front is clear, is the front clear? Well, yes, it is. Uh, if it wasn't, you'd go right. But since the front is clear, you go left. And so do yourself a favor and go through each of these, figure it out. So for example, if left is beacon, well, is there a beacon there? No, there's no beacon there. This is nothing. Don't worry about this. So it says, if left is beacon, turn right, else backwards. Well, there's no beacon here. So what do you suppose is going to happen? It goes backwards and so forth. Take the time to go through each of these and learn this because I promise you it'll make everything easier. So I'm just going to jump through this stuff right now to go to the first thing. Oh, there's a video too. I already watched the video. All right. So the, the first thing you're going to do is uh, this is called tracking and tracing. So let's go to the first thing. We're on number two now. Now, again, very, very important read the instructions. It says Robo is going to take, is going to track and trace. Robo has to find a beacon and pick it up. For this purpose, someone has left a trace of white dots, which Robo can use to retrieve the beacon. This is quite similar to tracking and tracing. How do you know the Robo? Do you know how to find it? The whole point is you're going to finish the script. So my suggestion to you is, first of all, see what it's going to do without doing anything. So I'm going to click on the go button here. So as you can see over here, it does the first part for you, and it gets to the beacon, okay? And right here it says, when it gets to the, well, here, let's just pause this or stop it. Okay, so it goes front. If front is white, then go to the next one, but otherwise go forward. And so as you saw, it just kind of kept going forward until it hit that white painted area. And once it gets there, go forward one. So if front is white, go forward else break, which goes to here, forward one, turn right. So you can see it's done all that. It's gone forward, seen the white, forward one. Now what we need to do is we need to figure out how to get to the beacon. So we're going to say uh, if front, okay, so this is right here, number four, complete. Okay, so if front is beacon, uh, let's see, what do we want to do? Uh, well, as you see right down here, it says pick up beacon. So uh, if front is beacon, we're going to go pick up. Okay. Or pick up. I don't think that I don't think beacon is a term here. Okay, so if front is beacon, we want it to pick up, but if front is not beacon, well, we want it to go forward. So we're going to say forward and then one. All right, does that make sense? So I'm going to play this one more time and I'm going to explain it as it goes along. So here we go. Okay, so it's going right here. Front is white, it's not white. So keep going forward, keep going forward, keep going forward. Up, oh, front is white, go forward, turn right. If front is beacon, keep going forward, but otherwise, I mean, uh, pick up the beacon, but if front is white, keep going forward. So it keeps going, oh, there's a beacon, oh, it picks it up. And then it keeps going. I should probably have told it to stop. Yeah, it looks like I should have told it to stop. So let's try that. And then just put stop. Doesn't look like it's a, uh, doesn't look like it's code, but it didn't give me it didn't give me what, what I wanted. So it's finished the script. So the finds the beacon. Well, I did. So I 
Okay, so as you can see, it doesn't know what stop means. It tells me, sorry, I don't know what stop means. So what I actually want to do, and I put, put this in the wrong place, was I want this thing to end. So I'm going to go right here where it says pick up. So once it picks up the beacon, I want the program to end. So let's try it now. I've speeded it up a little bit, so it's a little faster. Here we go, and success. All right. So as you can see, even for, for me, and I, I've programmed for a long time, but even for me, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's not something that you're going to get right away. It's, it's going to be a trial and error, trial and error. Keep trying. Keep trying something, and if you're not sure or if you get stuck, you know you can always contact me, and we can work through it together. Anyway, this is your job for this week, and have fun.